What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Donovan Spear. Hey, if you're new here, go ahead and hit that like button if you find this content valuable. And go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. It helps a lot of people out uh, to learn how to make money online. Now, if you don't know who I am, I'm a high-ticket affiliate marketer, and I created this channel to help people out. How to show them how to make money on a daily basis. Point and click. Just follow along. It's that simple, guys. Um, now, if you're new here, you've landed... You've landed, if you look at the screen right here, you've landed on day three, which is right here. Oh, let me get rid of that right there. You've landed on day three right here, so you're going to be lost. You're not going to know what's going on. You, you kind of jumped in in the middle of it. Now, I suggest you go back right here to day zero, right here. And I show you day by day exactly how to set everything up, point and click like you see on the screen right now, on how to make money with this $25 business. So the video you're on right now, if you go uh, under it, it'll say show more. And then right here, you see it says click here to get started, my25dollarlife.com. You click that and you sign up, you can hop in here with us uh, and just follow along uh, day by day, step by step, click by click, guys. It's that simple. And if you can see down here, right here, you know, Jesse right here, he's like, I got the premium and I'm making money just a weekend. Boom. You know, uh, you know, there's people that's got questions. Brandon right here, thank you. I mean, y'all just follow along, y'all are going to make money. So, but if you are not new here and you've been following along, right now we're on, um, we need to get you an email set up that's not going to, when you send your emails in your email responder, because we set the autoresponder up in our, uh, I think it was the last video. We don't want, we don't want that mail to go to their junk mailbox. You know how sometimes in your, your email you'll click junk and you got all, all, all that, you know, stuff. We do not want that to go into the, we want the people to see it. So what we're going to have to do now is the domain you uh, set up last time. We're going to connect an email to that, and it helps hit their primary mailboxes. So what we're going to want to do, guys, is we're going to go to email marketing. Go to your Get Response account, guys, right here. See, remember we created our list, and you sh your homework was to set up those emails in your email responder. There's 50 of them. Now, you can you can chunk it out, which you can do like 10 per day. Um, you don't have to do them all at once, but you need, you need them in there because when they opt into your landing page, we want those emails to go out on a daily basis. Um, so they can see it. They're more apt to buy when they've seen you for a while. So the, you know, the law of averages. Now what we're going to want to do is, um, go to, I think it's over here. Hit this little icon, this person icon in, in your account, and go to Manage Account. Once you click that, it should bring you over to your email addresses. And once you're over here on your email addresses, this is fine. This account details, this is your primary login. We're not worried about that. Go over to e where it says email addresses. Click on that. Now, with you, I already got mine set up. I, I'm going to buy a new one just to show you guys. It'll make it easier. Because um, I, I want you all to understand and make sure you know this is flawless as possible. See where you, you should have a Gmail right here. It'll say not recommended. And there's a reason for that. Like I said, it'll hit their spam account or their junk folder or their promotions folder. We do not want that. We want to hit their primary folder so they get eyes on it. So you'll have a Gmail right here. And, you know, oh, yeah, the reason for that, see it, read here more about the DMARC and get DMARC is like a spam. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys. It'll just make it easier for you to understand why we need this um, and why it's so important. 
Okay, right here it says, why shouldn't I use uh, Yoel, Mail.R, you know, any of them, Gmail, Rocket Mail. Right here. Boom, DMARC. So DMARC is like a, a, a policy. It's an organization right here, blah, blah, blah. It makes sure you're not spam a spammer, basically. So, if if you send through a business account, a business email, you're more likely not. You, the probability is really high that you're not going to hit their spam and junk folder. So, that is why we are sending are getting a business email. So let's go ahead and uh, grab that real quick. Um, once we do it, it'll show up like this. See how mine's already got support. You know how you get get it go on some websites that says support at so and so Nike blah blah blah. That's a business email. So we're gonna set that up today. See how mine's default set as default and it's been authenticated. I'm good to go on that. Y'all are gonna have this Gmail dot whatever you put in Gmail dot com and of course it's gonna say not recommended and yours is gonna be set at default. We're changing that right now. So we're gonna head on over. To names cheap we're gonna get you on the right track get this thing rolling and you should have set your autoresponder emails and that's sending from your Gmail account we're gonna switch those over to this one we're about to get right now go over to email go to business email and we're gonna get you set up on that now be patient with me my computer's slow I cleaned it off it's kind of so and I put my ethernet in as well to try to mitigate the, the, the lack of speed but right here 74 cents a month that's what we're gonna want okay boom that's what we're gonna want one mailbox five gigs that's plenty we don't want any of the pro the ultimate none of that jazz so you're gonna go to get started or get starter the starter package and you should have set your domain up the other day so you're gonna to wanna to, uh, this one right here use a domain I own with Namecheap already basically so go ahead and click that we're gonna connect that domain to this new business email which I've got plenty because I use this you know uh, names cheap a lot. You're only gonna have one domain that you purchased. So, for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go right here uh, to uh, imakethebank.com. I'm gonna use that one. You're gonna use the one that you used to uh, in the earlier training videos. So you're just gonna hit continue. One year. It's a whole year for 1088. And you're going to make this money back on the back end because if you're sending those autoresponder emails and nobody sees it, you're not going to make any sales. This will help you, you know. If you had to dig a trench out there, you know, and someone gave you a shovel, that's cool. But if you got a backhoe or something, it makes the job easier and you're going to make your money back in the long run because you can get more uh you know whatever it might be jobs uh, and produce more volume if that makes sense so continue we're gonna I'm gonna spend 1088 I get I probably won't use this one this one's just for the video but I just want I want you guys to you know get this set up in the correct manner add to cart Okay, we got it added to cart. So you want to confirm your order. Don't worry about any of this stuff. Improve your site, blah, blah, blah. We don't need any of that. that those are just upsells, okay? Confirm order. Now, you're just going to hit continue. I'm gonna go ahead and fill this information out okay cuz I gotta put in okay there it goes my correct okay I had the wrong one now it's right okay see all this stuff boom 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 my stuff's already in there Yours should be too from the last time if not go ahead and put it in hit continue 
We're going to get this uh, I make the bank.com email. It'll say order review on your subscription. Uh, turn, so you got to make sure you've read the agreement or put you have, you know what I mean? Pay now. Boom. Now we're getting closer, baby. We're getting closer. I'm excited for you guys. This is, I love this, uh, this business right here. 25 bucks. You can make bank off of it. Okay. So, boom, boom. Now, as soon as you purchase this, you're going to want to go to right here where it says create mailboxes, okay? Create mailboxes right here, this big red box. Now, my, te my text uh, number will be down at the very bottom of the screen. If you have any questions whatsoever, feel free to contact me. I'll answer you guys. Uh, this training is like I'm talking to a friend that I know. I want to make it, you know, just like that. I want you to, you know, I want you to succeed is what I want. Uh, so I'm trying to make it as easy as possible. So you see this yellow box right here, okay? We don't give a shit about that. Don't worry about that. You don't need to upgrade your plan. Uh, you, it says you're almost set. Don't worry about that because we're getting this email from Names Cheap. Now, if you had, if you bought a, a an email off GoDaddy or something and you wanted to connect it to Names Cheap, that's a whole different story. But we're getting it from the same place, so this is irrelevant right here. Go ahead and hit X. Don't even worry about that. Okay, we gotta set your catch all email up in a second, so don't worry about that. You don't if you don't wanna renew it every year, you don't have to. I do, so I don't have to worry about it. Set and forget. Create mailbox where we want to go to, right here. Create mailbox. Go ahead and hit that. Now the mailbox name, you know how some have support, info, whatever. I always use support. It's the easiest way, and the people know, hey, support. I need this, I need a question uh, answered. Support. So support's the most common. I always use it. Go ahead and set your mailbox password up. Um, don't worry about the storage. That's good. Save changes. Boom, baby. So we got support. We got your mailbox set up now. Support at imakethebank.com or whatever yours is. Mine's I make the bank. So after we get done with that, go to this catch all mailbox right here. Hit that one you just created. Boom. Now we got the catch all mailbox set up. Hit done. I know I'm going on. You're like, what's that? Everything. Just just hold on for a second, guys. I'm going to get y'all set up. This may seem confusing at first. It was for me. Uh, but this is like a one-time deal. You don't have to continue to set this stuff up. But if you, if you if you got multiple products, see, like I got multiple domains for different products I uh, promote, use this same system to do multiple. So after we do that, go to whatever mailbox you set up, guys. It'll take you straight to this domain list after this. I make the bank. Go to manage. Now you can watch this multiple times if you're having having trouble. Or if I'm too slow, you can speed up the video. If I'm too fast, you can uh, you know, just rewatch it. Not a big deal. Okay. Now, once we do that, go to, my bad, go to dashboard. And we're going to log in to your business email. And I'll show you the best way to do that. See, I make the bank.com right here. Go to this little mail thing. It says, uh, mail icon. It says, log in to your webmail. That's what we're going to want to do.
So I got one for that one. We don't want that. Support. Uh, here, let me move my mic. Support at I make the bank com. Go ahead and put yours in. I'm going to go ahead and log in. And that's what you're using, guys, is private email.com. Now, you don't have to go to Namescheap and hit that little icon. You can save this as your bookmark so it's faster if you want. Or you can go through Namescheap. It does not matter. Okay? Whichever you prefer. It's all preference. But it's, it's really important that y'all get a business email or the people are most likely not going to see those autorespond emails. But this is what it looks like, okay? Blah, 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 private email. They'll give you a little tour if you need it. Uh, but there's your thing. You got your draft spam. See, if you used a Gmail instead of this, and those autorespond messages go out, they're most likely going to hit these people's spam. We don't want that. We want them in the primary inbox, okay? This is crucial. So once we do that, you're logged into to your private email. Go to go back to your get response. And remember, your Gmail is going to be set to default. Okay? Mine's not because I've already switched it. Yours isn't. Yours is going to be your Gmail. We're going to fix that right now. So add email. Name. Go ahead and put your name. And go ahead and put that uh, email you just purchased into the support at mine is I make the bank.com yours is gonna be whatever yours is hit add boom so now you gotta verify this they're gonna they're gonna have to connect them okay they need verification that's why we logged in uh, earlier so they have sent a confirmation email hit got it Okay, so let me refresh this. I'm going to show you guys something real quick. It's a beautiful day outside. I'm about to go for a walk. Go for a walk. I'm probably going to be dropping another video tonight, so watch out for that, guys. I'm, I'm going to try to streamline this as quick as possible. I've been slacking the last week due to, as you know, some uh, issues that I, ha I had to deal with. But any which way. Boom. So this is our new email, guys. I make the bank.com. Remember, we just set that up. It's unconfirmed because we got a, they sent the email uh, for verification. So let's go on, go on over there. Let's refresh it. Get this bad boy connected and ready to ready to roll. All right, I'm gonna pause this and wait for it to load. Oh, okay, never mind. So, guys, I forgot that this takes up to 24 hours to get to for them to send it to your new private email. But I'll check in every couple hours. That way you can confirm it. Sometimes they send it earlier. Sometimes they don't. Let me go ahead and refresh it right now uh, to show you guys. If not, you'll get the gist of it. You'll just have to wait. Uh, no big deal. Let me see. Hopefully it just pops right in here. You know how it goes sometimes. Uh, so don't, don't, don't freak out if it's not in there as soon as you hit, you know, send. So it's not in there. So... I'm going to go uh, go ahead and show you guys what to do, okay? So the one is not confirmed yet, the one you just sent to your new email. So go to your Gmail account right here. Ignore all, ignore all this stuff. Y'all won't have that. Y'all have your old Gmail you used, um, and then you'll have your new one right here that says unconfirmed, okay? So what you're going to want to do is go right here to your Gmail. 
the one that says not recommended. See, here's mine that I, I originally signed up for. Um, go ahead and hit these three dots and hit delete. Because you're not going to be using that. Remember, you're going to be using your new one. So it hits their primary folders. Now it says unconfirmed right now, but once you get that email, okay, in your new email box, there'll be a button that just says confirm email. Okay, you'll go to inbox, it'll be right here, you click on it. This will be the actual email, it'll say like, um, inside the email, confirm email. Click that, it's confirmed, okay? Then when, once you do that, you'll have three dots right here, okay? And it'll look something like this, okay? It'll look something like this. Set as default. And that's what you're going to want to do on your new email that you just set up, okay? Then once you do that, now remember, we got that set up. It's confirmed. We got a new business email. Now we're going to want to go to our autoresponder, okay? So go to tools. Or actually, hold on. I think there's an easier way to do it. Go to contacts. I think this is the best way to do it. Try to make it as easy as possible on you guys. So go to e or uh, contacts. Yep. And remember the list you made. I got I got two different things I'm promoting right now. So you'll have your list that you made for your twenty five dollar business. Okay. Hit these hit these three dots right here. Go to settings. And we're going to switch over from your old email that that autoresponder was sending out to your new one. Okay? So go over here to confirmation message. And see where it says from address? Yours will be Gmail or whatever it was when you first signed up. Same with your reply. It'll say Gmail, whatever. But now that you, now when you get your confirmed email, remember you got to wait however long, confirm it. Do that thing with the three dots on the last page we're at. Then come over to where you are now and hit from address and click support whatever it is, okay? Hit support whatever it is. Your new one you just created, your new business uh, email. Then just save it, okay? And then boom, you're ready to roll. That way, Let's go over to autoresponder. That way, when you send your emails, it'll most likely hit their primary email box. So, I know it's a pain at first, but it, it's it's well worth it in the end to set this up. If you're like, ah, oh, I'm not doing all that. I'm just going to use my Gmail. I mean, you can if you want. You're not going to have great results. I've tried it. That DMARC uh, policy deal prevents you from you know you <laughs> you you want this guys i'm telling you it's a must so manage autoresponder okay see i've already got some sent out my autoresponder's doing it that's what y'all should have do y'all should have done in the last video see email six seven blah blah so one through five you do um a day so email number one I put zero. Remember, it sends out immediately. If someone uh, opts into your landing page, puts their email address in, blah, blah, it sends it out immediately, your first message. Remember, and you get those from the the, um, the My $25 uh, website, okay? over. This is the funnel builder, but y'all know where to get it, right? So, and then email number two, a day after that, three, a day after that, all the way up to remember... After your fifth email, okay, it's two days. So, boom, six, eight, ten, twelve, because we don't want to annoy them. They get one every day. So, then you spread it out uh, two days. Do, do, do. And you do that through all 50 emails. So, over like a whatever it is, six month period, they're getting emails, they're seeing your business. Um, and you'll be ready to roll. Now, you only have to set all this up once. So, once we get past this, I'll show you guys how to do free traffic, paid traffic. We're going to get you guys set up for the best, you know, position possible to succeed. Point blank. Period.
So once you get that done, you get your email, you confirm it, you set all, uh, you set it up in your uh, member. You go to con one more time. You go to contacts. Let me go over here one more time. So remember, manage account. I just want to, I want y'all guys to get this down uh, so there's no confusion. My internet's slow. Uh, I don't want to confuse you guys. So remember, you click the little person up here. You go to email addresses. Yours will be on your regular Gmail you set up. The no good one. Okay? Your new private email you set up through names cheap. Okay? Mine was I make the bank unconfirmed. Remember, we set that up. It sent the email to privateemail.com where you signed in on that new one. So now you're just waiting. You're waiting for that inbox message to come saying, get response confirmation. You'll hit that. You'll hit confirm. You'll go back. There'll be three dots. There'll be three dots right here. Okay? It'll say, make default. Click that. And if you haven't already, delete your old Gmail one. Remember, it says not recommended, blah, blah. Delete that thing. Then you'll go to contacts. You'll go to your list, the one we created in the last video. You'll go over here to the three dots. You'll hit settings. That I did not click. You'll hit settings. Once you hit settings, you'll get a confirmation message. And then the from address will be your old Gmail. We don't want that, remember? So you'll click this, and then you'll make both of these boxes your support, whatever you just bought. Then you'll save it, and then you're done. Your stuff is ready to roll. And of course, each week or each day, whatever you want to do, however you want to chunk it, make sure you get all those 50 emails, okay, into your... To your auto responder right here okay you, you just seen on the page where it said email one two three you want all 50 of those in there um, and it said it forget it once they hit there you put their email and opt into your landing page which is this once they do that they'll get all those emails okay until they unsubscribe or whatever and that's how you do it guys this is all set now in this funnel builder how we just did all that in this video which this is a new account of mine. I'm promoting the My $25 just in this one, okay? If you want another business, two, three, four, however, you, you know, how much you have, you'll have, you know, it'll look like this, of course, you know, it'll be a different business, one, two, three. You can do the same thing with Gmail, or I mean with uh, GetResponse. So you can use this same GetResponse account and have different lists Okay, and do exactly this. Have different emails through names cheap for multiple businesses you run. So it's pretty awesome, guys. And then uh, that's how you do it. You know, um, I think that's pretty much all for today. We got our email set up. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video. Make sure you like and subscribe to this it helps me out a lot guys I'm, I'm really trying to help you guys out uh this is a no bullshit channel this is basically for free all you have to pay for is just this nitty stuff that you you know that you need um so and the actual product you're promoting that's it um so y'all have a good one make sure you like and subscribe the video and uh, if you haven't signed up uh, the link's right underneath this video. It'll say my25dollarlife.com. Y'all sign up. Make sure you uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Follow along. Let's make some money. I'll see you guys in the next module.